All About Eve, 1950, 138 minutes, D. Joseph L. Mankiewicz, Best Director winning Joseph L. Mankiewicz's much loved, lengthy, acerbic drama of backstage New York theater life was a very literate Best Picture winning film, and also an Oscar winner for Mankiewicz's own best screenplay. Wit and sarcasm reigned supreme, for example, fasten your seat belts. It's going to be a bumpy night, and Marilyn Monroe also appeared in a bit cameo role as aspiring actress Miss Caswell. As the film opened during an awards ceremony, a rising, unscrupulous star known as Eve Harrington, Oscar-nominated and Baxter, accepted the Sarah Siddons Award for Best Actress of the Year on the Broadway scene. In flashback, it was then revealed how the shameless young starlet had insinuated herself into the life of her idol, Margot Channing, Oscar-nominated Betty Davis, an aging, bitchy accomplished Broadway stage star. Margot befriended and took the seemingly naive, shy, helpless and innocent fan Eve under her wing as her confidential assistant slash secretary, but soon after, the duplicitous Eve schemed to steal her theatrical roles and her fiancé lover Bill Sampson, Gary Merrill. By ruthlessly exploiting the older woman's kindness and hospitality, Eve managed to achieve her present success while almost destroying the veteran star in the process. On the sidelines but also in the same company as Eve was the film's acid-tongued narrator Addison DeWitt, Oscar-winning George Sanders, a cynical, egotistical columnist-slash-critic. As Eve's conniving ways were revealed, she became Margot's understudy, and then orchestrated Margot's absence by stranding her out of town, so that she could take her place and receive accolades from NY theater critics. She even enlisted the aid of Karen Richards, Oscar-nominated Celeste Holm, the wife of the playwright Lloyd Richards, Hugh Marlowe, and was able to aggressively manipulate him away from Karen to provide her with a new play. Meanwhile, Addison DeWitt saw through Eve's calculating nature and ultimately called her out on the day of her debut performance for her manufactured past, and her opportunistic ambitions. The ending of the film returned to the awards banquet to find the starlet clinging to her trophy. Ironically, she would soon be replaced by another younger fan in the wings, an aspiring protege named Phoebe, Barbara Bates, that resembled Eve who would undoubtedly take her place in the near future.